Today we are going to start gate and ES questions on half wave rectifier. So in this in these questions you need to know various waveforms, various formulas of voltage and current, conduction angle, excitation angle, circuit turn off time and all these things you need to know to solve all these problems. So to know more about the concept behind all these problems you need to refer my lecture number 12 to 24 okay that all these lectures from lecture number 12 to 24 are on one phase half wave rectifier so first refer them then then you will find all these questions very easy so let's start the video now see this question that has been asked in gate 2001 here the circuit is given and question is asking what is conduction angle beta sorry excitation angle beta so here this circuit this vs is sinusoidal voltage source this is thyristor and this is inductor it means this is a one phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier with a load so in case of a uncontrolled rectifier the waveform of output current is like this Okay, this is alpha, this is pi and this is 2 pi minus alpha. So we can clearly say that beta is equals to 2 pi minus alpha and that is equals to alpha is equals to 120 degree. So we get 360 minus 120 that is equals to 240 degree. Now take this question. Here we have to find the conduction angle of diode. This question has been asked in gate 2007. So this circuit is given, this Vs is sinusoidal voltage source, this is diode and this is inductor L. So this is circuit diagram of one phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier with L load. So for this rectifier we get output current I0 like this. So this output current I0 is positive from 0 to 2 pi. And this diode will remain turned on till this output current is positive. So the conduction angle of this diode is simply equals to 2 pi. Now take this question that has been asked in gate 2006. This has been asked in gate 2006. Okay. So in this question, it says that output current I0 is constant. Okay. Then what is the current waveform of D2? This is freewheeling diode D2. Now this circuit is one phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier with RL load having freewheeling diode. So we know that how we can find the waveform of diode current D2. So suppose if this is the waveform of input voltage. And we get output current I0 constant. Okay, so this is the waveform of I0. Now, this main diode D1 will conduct when positive half cycle of the sinusoidal voltage is applied to this diode. Suppose when polarity of applied voltage is like this. In this case, this diode D1 is forward bias. Okay, so I0 will flow in this path. But after pi, the polarity of this sinusoidal voltage source reverses. So this D1 get reverse bias and this D2 get forward bias. Once this D2 get forward bias, then current gets shifted from this diode D1 to this diode D2 that is freewheeling diode. Now from pi to 2 pi, till we get this negative half cycle, this diode D2 will continue to conduct. And what is the current across this diode D2? Now when this diode D2 is uh, con D2 conducts and we have assumed that output current I0 is constant, so this output current will free wheels through this resistance R, this load L and this diode D2. Okay, so what is out uh, current waveform across diode? This diode D2 will conduct from pi to 2 pi and the waveform of current I0, this current I0 will appear across G2 from pi to 2 pi, ID2, okay. 
so this rectangular waveform having amplitude i naught is the waveform of current across this diode d2 now see this question that has been asked in gate 2014 here this circuit is given and v naught average is given 70 volt and this sinusoidal voltage source is given 325 sin 3140 and we have to find the triggering angle of this thyristor okay this is thyristor so we have to find the triggering angle of thyristor so we can see that this circuit is one phase half wave control rectifier with RL load and freewheeling diode okay so for this circuit as I already told you in my lecture that V0 average is given by Vm upon 2 pi 1 plus cos alpha. Okay, here V0 average is given 70 volt. Maximum voltage is equals to this is Vm. Okay v source voltage maximum value of source voltage so it is equals to 325 upon 2 pi 1 plus cos alpha okay so simply if you solve this equation you will get alpha is equals to 69.31 degree now see this question that has been asked in gate 2014 here this sinusoidal voltage source 100 sin omega t is given this is diode and this is inductor l that is 31.83 millihenry here omega is given 100 pi and this switch is closed at t is equals to 2.5 millisecond now here you have to understand one important concept to solve this problem suppose this switch is closed at t is equals to zero in that case this circuit will behave as one phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier with a load because this diode will retain its properties in that case but if we close this switch as 2.5 millisecond then this switch in combination with with this diode will be equivalent to a scr how it is equivalent this closing of switch as 2.5 millisecond will act as triggering angle alpha for this thyristor, thyristor okay so what is alpha alpha is equivalent to this time duration 2.5 millisecond so to solve this circuit first we will find what is alpha if this is the if this combination of switch and diode is acting as scr then we have to find the alpha so we know that this omega t that is equals to 100 pi t is equivalent to 2 pi. So this will give t is equals to 20 millisecond. So if this 20 millisecond is equivalent to 2 pi, then this 2.5 millisecond will be equivalent to 2.5 by 20 into 2 pi okay so that will be equals to pi by 4 so alpha is equals to pi by 4 so now we can say that this circuit is one phase half wave control rectifier with L load and for control rectifier inductor current at any time T is given by Vm by omega L cos alpha minus cos omega t but in the question we have to find maximum value of inductor current so what is maximum value so maximum value of uh, inductor current in case of a control rectifier occurs at pi so in case of a control rectifier this is the output waveform of current and maximum current occurs at this pi 
so we simply put omega t is equals to pi and alpha is equals to pi by 4 so we will get IL max is equals to Vm maximum voltage is 100 volt omega L is equals to 100 pi and L is equivalent to 31.83 into 10 to the power minus 3 so on solving this and into cos 45 degree minus cos pi if you solve this you will get il max is equals to sorry this is il max okay because we are getting il max at omega t is equals to pi so this inductor current is il max okay so il max will be equals to 17.07 ampere so this is the answer here this is an important concept you must remember whenever a switch is connected in series with diode then if switch is closed at point other than t is equals to zero then this combination will act as a thyristor or we can see that this uh, this combination act as a control switch so this is all about this question if you got the knowledge and concepts from this video then please like the video and subscribe the channel you can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you.